Don't you wish publishing a book was easier? Yes. Imagine all the steps simplified so you can focus on writing. That sounds great. I'd like to introduce to you our full AI publishing service. God damn it, not again. Here we are again talking about AI books. Hi, I'm Patrick Nyland. I want to start this off by asking you, would you use AI to publish your book? And I actually want you to answer that question because there are some things that I would let AI do for my book. For example, with the right software, I would definitely let AI spell check my work and maybe even format it. So if your answer is no, you wouldn't let AI publish your book, which no, I wouldn't either. I'm curious where you draw the line. Or if your answer is yes, I'd love to know why you would use AI to publish your book. Now, why do I bring this all up? Recently, I stumbled on an article by The Guardian about a startup that plans to publish 8,000 books next year with AI. My first reaction when I saw that article before like common sense kicked in was absolute panic. I don't really know why I panicked. As a computer engineer, I have a pretty good understanding of what AI can do. And one of the things that AI can't do is publish books. Writing and publishing full-length novels really isn't what generative AI is designed to do. Still, you know, I love writing books, so the idea of AI threatening my creative space is pretty scary. That being said, I did a deep dive into Spine Publishing, this company that's promising all these things about publishing books with AI, and I will let you make your own decisions at the end of this video. Let me make it really clear that after my research, there are some things I would like to say about Spine Publishing that I'm not going to say here. Based on my observations, there are some words and phrases I would want to use to describe this company, but to avoid getting into any legal troubles, I'm going to tread carefully. So in the article by The Guardian, it says that Spine Publishing plans on publishing 8,000 books next year using AI. Spine service is not offering to write the books, rather it's offering to help with everything after that. It's kind of offering to do what a traditional publisher would, but with AI. They're charging between $1,200 and $5,000 for this service, which is kind of eye-opening because that's kind of what I plan to publish my own book. I pretty much plan on spending $5,000 to independently publish Operation Arc. I'm not gonna lie, this is off topic. Saying that out loud honestly made me feel like I had to throw up. Internal crisis aside for reference, that money's supposed to cover my cover artists, beta readers, an actual editor, and also all my marketing campaign. Or at least a small initial marketing campaign. So right away, when I was doing my research with this service costing this much money, I was really wondering who this was actually for and what problem it was actually solving. I know for a fact that publishing my book is going to take a lot of work on my end, but for $5,000, I can produce a high quality product. Even if your budget is only $1,000, you're going to get a lot higher quality with people as opposed to AI services. So yeah, my first thought when looking into this company was why would anybody use this service rather than just publishing independently? I mean, I wouldn't use this service no matter what the price was, but for that price, it definitely makes absolutely no sense. Although to be honest, based on this company's website, it seems like they don't know what indie publishing is, although I feel like they probably know what it is and they're just not talking about it. I'll talk about it more later, but on their website, they fail to acknowledge the existence of indie publishing as an option for authors at all. And I feel like the honest reason why they do that is anybody who knows about indie publishing knows that this service makes absolutely no sense. Reading the article from The Guardian, what really shocked me is that this company actually secured $16 million from investors in their last round of funding. $16 million in just their last round of funding. Saying it out loud though, I guess it doesn't really surprise me because these days CEOs just say the word AI and investors go crazy. Honestly, just watch any recent video of a CEO. They don't even know what it means. They just try to say AI as many times as they possibly can in a sentence. Personally, as an investor, I'd be a little concerned that the only company that seems to make any money off this AI stuff is NVIDIA and other companies such as OpenAI that are spending so much money on it are losing $5 billion a year. But hey, I'm just a computer engineer with a master's business administration. Wait a second, why don't people listen to me about this stuff? Sorry about that rant. In my job hunt, I've become pretty frustrated with AI and incompetent CEOs. Now, back to Spine Publishing. When I heard they got $16 million from investors, my big question was, who's using this to publish their book? I mean, the investors must have seen something to give them that type of money. According to the website, over 15,000 people have used this service to publish their book. Although, to be honest, I don't believe it for a second. Trying to understand more about the service they were providing, I went to their YouTube, and some of their views were just off. The channel only has 813 subscribers, but their average video has over 100,000 views. Their intro video has 194,000 views, 105 likes, and 3 comments. I'm not going to outright accuse them of anything here, but let's use some common sense for a moment. The ratios of some of these videos are some of the most ridiculous views to engagement ratios I've ever seen. What I find really funny is some of the videos don't seem to have the flair that the other ones do. That being said, I'm getting off track criticizing the channel here. The main reason I went on this channel was to understand the service they're providing. I think I have a decent idea now. The main thing they seem to highlight is their ability to publish your book in 30 days or less. They also claim that publishing without a traditional publisher can cost you between $5,000 and $25,000, which is absurd. I know I said I plan on sinking $5,000 into my book, Operation Arc, but that's a lot more than you have to. I will always use an editor because I'm a dunce when it comes to the English language, but if you know your stuff and you put the time in, you can publish your own book for free. It's going to take a lot of time, but you can do it. I know several authors who have published indie books for very low cost. Also, in this video, I am focusing on indie publishing because that's what I plan on doing for my book, and that does seem to be what this service is trying to replace slash copy. That being said, traditional publishing is a great option if you don't want to spend any money. On their website, they bash traditional publishing by pointing out the low royalty rates. For the record, traditional publishing does have lower royalty rates, but this is deceiving. On their website, they're saying unlike other methods of publishing, they don't take a cut. 
And while it does sound great to have a publisher that doesn't take a royalty, this is kind of deceiving because they're not actually a publisher. They advertise this service as AI publishing, but it's really more AI editing. And the reason why I say that is if you look at their distribution, they're working with Amazon and Ingram and other indie publishing programs. Sure, they're not taking a cut the same way your editor doesn't take a cut because you already paid them. Amazon and Ingram are still going to take their cut when they distribute your book. This service isn't directly distributing your book, so I don't even know if it's actually considered publishing. All the platforms that they use to distribute your book are platforms that you can go to distribute your book yourself. Going back to their website where they talk about traditional publishing and vanity publishing and they ignore indie publishing, they basically are a vanity publisher. They knock vanity publishing, which is paying to have your work published, but that's basically what this is. Now, they do offer some additional services other than just AI editing. One of them is marketing. I couldn't find much about their marketing program, but if it's anything like their YouTube channel, I don't think it has much value. In addition to AI formatting and editing, they also offer AI covers and narration, which readers absolutely love. And that's honestly one of my biggest issues with Spines. It's completely out of touch with what readers and authors are looking for. It's almost as if none of the founders are actually authors. In fact, when I first started making this video, I assumed that none of them were going to be authors at all, but after looking into their LinkedIn profile, some of them do have books listed on there, although when I did research, I couldn't find those books. That being said, the founders are Israeli, so it could just be a language thing. I'm genuinely not accusing them of not actually writing books or anything. I was just, I just couldn't find them. It seems like this company is trying to solve, correction, they're trying to profit off a problem that they don't understand. Correction, a problem that doesn't really exist. That's honestly the best way I can put it. This product tries to profit off a problem that doesn't really exist. If indie publishing didn't exist, maybe I'm making a different video here. Probably not, but maybe. But it does. After doing my research, I genuinely don't know who this service or product is for. It honestly doesn't even make sense for those cheap crypto bros who write all those trading books because honestly, it'd be cheaper to hire a ghostwriter. You probably also get a better product from hiring a ghostwriter. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna stick to indie publishing my book. That being said, I would love to know your thoughts on this video. Do you think AI software can ever replace an editor or even an author? As an engineer and a sci-fi author, I find questions like this to be really scary, but also kind of interesting. If you haven't already, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, I'm thinking of doing a video where I talk about exactly how generative AI works, so I feel like a lot of authors are afraid about it, so I think it'd be kind of helpful to kind of teach you exactly how it works and understand what its limitations are and what it's good at and what it's not so good at. I feel like a video like that would be a pretty good project to put on my LinkedIn because let's face it, if I want to spend $5,000 on Operation Arc, I'm going to need to get a job soon. So definitely let me know if that's something you're interested in watching. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.